Hey you guys, it's Lauren. Lately I've had an upswing of the number of obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD cases I've been treating. And because of that, I've been reading, 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 reading. I wanna make sure that I have all the tools needed to help these clients. One of the books I read recently is called Brain Lock and it's by Dr. Jeffrey Schwartz, a researcher that at the time he wrote this was at UCLA. He might still be there, I'm not sure. But he talks about the four R's and those are Relabel, reattribute, refocus, and revalue. What this means is when you have a thought that is probably obsessional, you need to relabel it. That's an obsession, that's not a real thought coming from inside of me. Then you need to reattribute it. I have OCD, I have a medical condition, and it is causing these kinds of thoughts. Then you need to refocus. So instead of getting on this thought and doing a compulsion or getting stuck, you find something else to do and you try to delay at least, if not completely avoid, the behavior that the thought, the obsession is making you want to do. So if I want to go wash my hands because I'm obsessing on dirt and germs, instead I'm going to get busy and do something else that I enjoy for a little while. And then revalue. When you've done those first three steps enough times, you find the original obsession doesn't hold as much weight for you. The thought of having germs or dirty hands is not that big of a deal anymore. Just, oh shucks, well my hands are dirty but I can move past this. Um, but I wanted to share that I have found this valuable for not just obsessive compulsive disorder but all kinds of thoughts. If you're anxious in general or even if you're depressed, stop and think about a thought that's bothering you and relabel it. Where did that come from? Is it really true or is it an exaggeration of the truth? So if you have depression, you can stop and think, my thought that I'm really ugly is coming from depression. And then you can, um, you can uh, re-attribute it, right? I attribute this to the fact that I have depression, which is a medical condition. This doesn't mean that this thought is true. And then you can refocus. Instead of dwelling on that thought, I look really ugly or I am really ugly, which is more depressing, I can find something else to do. I can just stop and find something else to think about. And then over time, I may not even believe that as much. That thought may have less value. So you can apply the four R's from Brain Lock. Even though it's written for OCD, you can apply it to all kinds of mental disorders. And I am absolutely so happy I read that book. It's very short and I recommend you read it, even if you don't have OCD. It's just super, super helpful.